This is Jinsha from Department of English. So today we will be dealing with a topic called product and product uh, process description. Okay. So moving forward, what is a product and a process? So you know that process is a set of steps that is uh, leading to the creation of a product. So see here, while on the other hand, product is a result that is manufactured by a wide variety of people. So the process is what the steps that we take to create a product. Okay. Then moving forward, the present description, product description is a form of marketing copy. You know, while we are uh, manufacturing a, pro a product, there will be a uh, product description which is, at which is to attract the audience or the buyers. Okay. These product details can be one sentence, short paragraph or bulleted. They can be serious, funny or quirky. We, we, can, uh, we can use it anyway, but we are going to impress the buyers. So it can be short, it can be long according to the need okay uh, there are multiple styles and ways to make product description work but there is much more of them than simple copyright going forward how to write a product description so there are certain steps that we have to follow to write an effective product description first step is to writing the product description is to define your target audience first uh, we have to think about the audience you want to be able to define which feature would be most interesting to your potential buyers we have to take care of the buyers we have to understand what sort of buyers we are going to have and then we have to start writing the product description this begins with understanding your buyer persona and a breakdown of the characteristics of your potential customers your buyer persona will help you understand which features will be most valuable for your customers as you are writing your product description, these keep these questions in your mind. There are certain questions that have to be answered in your product description. The first one among that is, how did this per, uh, person arrive on your page? Then, what are his or her interests generally? Okay. Then why would this person be interested in your Shopify store, especially if it is a, a Shopify stores? Then why this person is interested in that? After that. How would this person describe the product of uh, product to a friend? So if the person who is coming here is seeing this product and he is explaining that to a friend, you have to take care of that also. Later after that, what features or benefits would, the, would interest this person the most? Again, what are the features that we are going to make it interesting, that our product description is going to make interesting? Next, uh, the thing is focus on your product benefits. While explaining or giving the product description, we have to focus on the benefits of the product. That how the product is going to help the buyer. Okay. As a business owner, you are understandably excited to share all the qualities of your product. You want to show that your product has the best features and most unique specs. But the buyer, however, is not necessarily interested in maintaining features of the product. Instead, they want to know how it can benefit them. As a uh, product creator, we, uh, we would want to explain everything about the product, but the buyer is only interested in how it is going to help. Then a product feature is factual statement about the product that provides technical information. A product benefit on the other hand tell how the product can improve the buyer's life. That is our motto. When a buyer is uh, buying a product, he would definitely take care of how it is going to improve his life or how it is going to help. Moving forward, tell the full story because as people are interested in listening to the stories, what you have to do is you have to tell the full story behind the product. A good product description should give all relevant details, convince the buyer of its benefit and pack an emotional punch. Emotion influ emotions influence buyer's behavior. So your product description is perfect place to elicit emotions. And also, when it comes to telling a story in your product description, try to answer these certain questions. Who originally made this product? That is, who is the creator of the product? Then comes, what inspired them to make this product? What was the journey of making this product? And how would this product look at the buyer's day-to-day -day life? Then, setting a scene like this will help your buyer Evision this product in a way that features and specs could never do. Okay, if you can get the buyer to image, uh, 
imagine that the product uh, as an emotional conquest or companion they will likely forget that they are being sold so we have to be able to uh, relate to their personal life through the through by telling a story through your product description moving forward use natural language and tone when you are writing a product description you should write something in a way that everyone understand it not in a way which is very complex or which is in a very different tone okay if you read your description aloud does it sound like a real conversation that you would have with your friend is it feeling like a, a conversation or just a description then if your product description is in something that you would say to your friend about the product then it's time to inject a little life to them you have to add a little bit uh, extra like it is a to make feel like it's a conversation not just a description okay bringing this natural tone one that you would use in real conversation will help your customer connect with your brand the tone sounds natural and in the, uh, is in line with the general tone of brand overall using a consistent tone that matches the brand bills trust with the customers and make certain e-commerce brands much more memorable than the thousand of others moving forward use powers power words that sell again while giving the description you have to use such words that have power there are certain words and phrases that naturally elicit an emotion emotional response in humans by being mindful of these words and phrases you can more easily convince your customers to take the leap and make the purchase you might have seen in many product description we have certain tag lines with strong powerful words which we will be remembering them uh, to a long extent so make sure that you are using such powerful words in your uh, description rather than using words like nice and high quality or for powerful words like stunning or sensational by sprinkling uh, sprinkling these good uh, descriptive words into your product description you are subtly convincing the buyers that your product are exciting impressive and worth purchasing moving forward make it easy to scan that is people have short attention span and read only 16 percentage of what you have written in the page so your product description needs to be able to capture that convicted 60 percentage in effective way people are not going to read all through your from starting to the uh, end they are not going to read your description so you are supposed to write in a short manner and uh, you have to explain your uh, uh, quality of the product in that short span and uh, as in the buyer as in the buyer is able to find exactly the information he or she wants without wasting time uh, shifting through other pieces of information make sure your product description is easy to scan by including bullet in point short paragraphs made up or just a few sentences each with a lot of white space and different sizes of fonts so as you know different sizes of uh, fonts will affect us in a different manner maybe a large font will help you uh, grab more attention maybe different fonts or different styles using different styles will help you grab attention so we have to try using all that in our description moving forward optimize your search engine we have uh, certain say, uh, search engine tools which will be helping us uh, to improve our reach and all in social medias so we have to use certain engines like that uh, which is called search engine optimization tools to improve our uh, reach of the product moving forward we can use good images images will capture our eyes more than the description or what is written uh, when a person is seeing the description or a product he or she is going to see the picture of us then only he is moving forward to the description so we have to use the pictures which will be favorable or which we will be noting down so we have to use good images uh, different images in our product description moving forward so this is an example you know this is a puma shoe how they have given the information see we have just uh, single lines here and also they have given limited things but they are explaining everything about the shoe next example is meet echo dot they are uh, telling something uh, which is very similar to alexa and you are familiar with that so again they have given a beautiful picture which will be grabbing our attention right 
So, in that also again limited words, but they are explaining how it is created. Next will be a steel grill fry pan. Again, look at the picture, look at the description. It's very short, simple and uh, after looking to the picture, we can read it very uh, carefully, like uh, with, with, with lot of interest. Next, uh, it, this is an uh, unearth woman color co coffee mug. They have given all dimension of the cup uh, mug there and also they have given a very sweet and short description which will be grabbing our attention. Uh, next would be, okay that's it. So thank you so much uh, for listening.